strong as in is it is it that uh you know that's strong it's strong <laughs> You know, doing uh, asking a guy questions that girls are too afraid to ask. All right, guys. So you know, we actually asked uh, a couple of you guys on our Instagram, uh, you know, to send us the kind of, kind of questions they want us to, you know, to ask. And a few of you actually did it. So yes, if you uh, haven't followed us on Instagram, make sure to go check our Instagram page out. Uh, we're gonna leave it at everything is gonna be at the description below. Mine is uh, Eve Seibel, Greg's is Greg Seibel. And uh, Calista's Calista Saiwo, he's actually chilling over there. The family also have, uh, have a family uh, Instagram page as well, uh, the Saibos. So definitely go, uh, you know, follow us and then we actually post there every single day. So yeah, you have something to add, babe? If you're not following us, you should be following us because we do some funny stuff and informative stuff like today. Yeah. Um, you get to watch our kid in the... Uh, highlights of his life yeah. and uh you get to watch me represent the male generation today <laughs> the male nation not the male generation <laughs> you get to watch me represent the male nation today yeah and the subscription is free we keep saying that on our channel you know make sure to subscribe turn on the post notification subscription is just free you don't need to pay anything weekly monthly or anything like that like that it's just free totally free yes how many, <laughs> how many things in this world are free no, it's just no our much. channel. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get started. All right. So I embarrassed myself a little bit dancing. If you haven't seen that video yet, watch it. Uh, today I'm gonna embarrass myself just a little bit more by answering these <laughs> tough, tough questions. All right. We gotta put that video, the dancing video, somewhere at the top, or it's gonna be in the description below. All right, guys. So the first question, Greg. Uh, is how do you know when a guy is being serious with you or you know when a guy is being serious or he's not serious how are you gonna know I just say it reaches a point where uh, phone calls change and their actions change and you can just kind of tell by either the uh, content of the questions or just when when you call when you get callbacks right when you uh -huh. call more yeah. than once a day when you talk for more than a few minutes everything kind of falls into place and you know that you know that we're serious okay. all right i don't know if there's like a certain thing that we do <laughs> all right so <laughs> what i mean it's funny how you said you know they've done the same thing that we do i don't know if I, like i can just hit you on the head and you know that we're serious or not but, Stop playing games. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, you, you like you gotta know when you know uh, suddenly he doesn't respond to your calls or he doesn't you know check up on you and stuff like that. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. All right. When you go in depth, when you when you care about you know when you're serious about somebody, you start you start asking yeah more uh, in depth questions. Yeah. All right. So why are some guys afraid to show love? Probably because they're not really in love, you know. If if you're in love, I mean, who cares, you know? I don't. I think that's kind of a, a misperception is that guys are afraid to show love. We might not kiss you all the time in public, but it's not like we're afraid to show love. No, I think you don't. Uh, like you don't quite get what I'm saying. Like it's hard for them to show love. No, you're not that's talking I mean. in public. I got you. Yeah, you know. Yeah. They don't want to, they just hide your feelings, you know, they don't want to let it out. 
<laughs> you have to stop talking. <laughs> yeah, no. That's a little uh, stereotyping that, that all guys don't show love, but uh, I'd say that like in my past I've been guarded, I've been hurt before, so there's been times where you get in habits of like not not being affectionate all the time or not not uh not mm -hmm. showing love all the time, okay? Mm -hmm. But things change. I mean if you're truly in love and you know, you're not uh what, you don't have your insecurities and then you can show it, but I'd say I'd say that there's just things that over the course of your life like yeah. keep you from showing love all the time. Why are some guys always um horny? <laughs> always horny? Cause it's our roles to reproduce. That's how the nation grows. That's how mankind grows is to be horny. <laughs> Go out and <laughs> so that the uh, world is gonna grow. I don't know why why is my uh why am I, uh, why am I, I got morning wood every day? You know, why do, uh, why do things happen that way? It's pheromones, it's chemicals, and it's seeing some nice, um, uh, nice curves at home. Yeah, so that's why guys are always honey. It's our, it's by nature. It's by nature. And we've just see <clears throat> somebody attractive and mm -hmm. it's a natural thing to get horny okay it happens like it says starts our day off in the morning all right why are most guys uh players what well, i mean why do they play around stereotyping stereotyping if all you ladies think that then you're putting some dirty men into lumping them up with good guys all right <laughs> player I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. It's in rap lyrics, <laughs> it's in the world. You know, you have like a ton of relationships that mean some and don't mean anything and you know, you just go through life like picking and choosing until you find somebody that you marry, right? Uh -huh. yeah. So, by nature, it's finding finding the one you wanna marry so you, you go on dates, you get on websites, you go and meet somebody. Sometimes it's serious, sometimes it's not. I've had times where I've been talking to three different girls at one time. Not trying to be mean to somebody, but you know, take care of my own. <laughs> so that's why most guys are players. <laughs> Just because some are afraid to commit, I guess. You know, I mean, some dance around commitment. Yeah. You know, some just out there having fun. But the players that get us in trouble are. Uh, making us look bad. Alright, do you guys find ladies who have stretch marks attractive? Oh yeah, that's what I look for in a woman, her stretch marks. That's what you would? <laughs> no. Nobody cares when you get to the to the heart of a relationship. If it's good, it's good. I could care less about stretch marks. Yeah, and know? then you know, um, like most women actually have the stretch marks right from when they, they are born. So they get it from birth. So. I think that uh, if and and it's beautiful. If a guy loves you, it doesn't really matter, you know, if you have stretch marks or whatever. It's it's, it's actually what is within. It's what the guy feels for you, right? Are you answering it for all guys? No, it's like I'm trying <laughs> to help you to answer it. Oh, you're help. I just said it. I said if you if you find somebody that you really care about, stretch marks are meaningless. Yeah. Right. And period. All right. The guys prefer know. girls who are made up, or girls. Who are not made up, make up. Like made, up, made, up, made, up <laughs> made up, made up, made up, made up, like, made up, made up, made up. Free. Wear makeup. Yeah, okay, so Don't without makeup, makeup, without, I mean, the hair is not, everything is just natural. No, you know, wearing nails and stuff like that. You know, do guys prefer ladies like that or you just want ladies uh, putting yeah. stuff on? When you go out and you meet somebody for the first time, mm -hmm. you're going to mostly meet them with their makeup on, right? Yeah. And then things get serious and all of a sudden you have a sleepover. You don't want to roll over and see Freddy Krueger next to you. <laughs> you don't want to see somebody you're not attracted to that you were attracted to with makeup on. So you got to have a good balance of both. Uh, you know, if I didn't think you were attracted without makeup, I wouldn't be sitting here next to you. <laughs> so um, I feel sorry for people who 
go to bed. I shouldn't say that. Who uh, have somebody that looks amazing with makeup on and somebody who uh, should keep it on at all times. <laughs> Even when they you know what I mean. You know what I mean. That comes across cold. I'm cold at times. You know what I mean. Next. All right. Question. Do guys like going down on women. Uh, did they do it just to satisfy uh, your partner? Pass. My mom's watching. Pass. I can tell you what what I've heard. Uh, you know, might be fun to. Uh, I don't know. At the same time, you know, please each other at the same time. I'm okay. not gonna go in detail, okay? Uh, of course, it's fun to get gifts, and of course, it's fun to give gifts. And yeah. if you don't like giving gifts, then you're not yeah. very good at Christmas. Okay. And why do you guys have your thing always uh, up in the morning? <laughs> if I said thing, you guys work so hard. I don't want to. <laughs> Our things are Actually, up in the know. morning because. Uh, Names. It's your blood flow, you know. It's a, it's a natural part of life. It's, it's not like we, uh, it's not like we're doing it. Might be having some dreams that that are uh, making it get there. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. But I just know when you wake up, your yeah. pants are stretched. Next. <laughs> stretched. <laughs> Next. Why do you guys watch adult films? Who watches adult? Even when they are in a happy relationship why do you, I mean why do you guys do that you know what I mean no don't <laughs> pass my mom's watching answer the question uh, I don't know nowadays it's not like not like before uh -huh. before you had a magazine now you got a now you got a phone uh, being horny is a natural thing for a guy and uh, it's just one thing leads to another, and I hate to throw it out there, but it's just something enjoyable. You think it's something that most guys are addicted to? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you know, it's a part of being a guy. It's I shouldn't say that. It's just something that's uh, that's uh, addictive. It is addictive, but it's it's easy. Right. Yeah. Did you guys want it to wait? Uh, you know, before having it, did we, somebody actually asked that, did we want it to wait before having it? Having it like you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, yes, that's what we did. We actually waited because, you know. You wanted to wait and I, yeah. respect, and I respected you for it. Greg, Greg wanted to, you know, do it quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, we need to wait. It pays to wait. Or we, we get so, to yeah. be an adult. I mean, you get to make adult decisions, all right? So we you know, waited. As a, then... as a, if I would look back on my life as a teenager, I'd say, chill out, relax, wait, take your time. Yeah. You know? And, and then do it after marriage. After, after you, I mean, you two get married. That's what we did. Right? Although Greg, yeah. Greg wanted to be a sinner. A sinner. <laughs> <laughs> I, respect, I respect that we waited. Well, yeah. And uh, you know it's hard. It's not you know it wasn't preferred. Yeah. You know our mind, one thing leads to another, and uh, if she hadn't uh, wanted that, then I would have wanted something else. Yeah. All right. So the next question is why boys never say I love you first. Why don't boys? Uh, I mean, why do they do that? You don't have to say it all the time. Uh -huh. You know, I don't. I don't have to hear it all the time. But I would say. In our relationship, that you show affection a lot more when it comes to saying "I love you," uh, because you're being nice to me and you're, and you're showing your affection. But to be a hundred percent with you, uh -huh. like whether I say it or not, you know it. So I think that just my own male perspective is it gets oversaid. Yeah. That's cold again. It comes out. These words are coming out cold, but that's why they. Of course, I love her. Of course, I tell her I love her. But you know, I don't have to say it all the time because I I feel it and know it. Yeah, I understand. Why do men want to receive her oral? You know what I mean. Oral stuff. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. 
it's uh it never gets old it never gets boring it um there's always a uh a sign of respect back <laughs> <laughs> my gosh respect back <laughs> yeah. all right it never gets old so <laughs> just keep it going the next question is how strong how strong are you, you, you guys uh you know your thin how strong is it all guys <laughs> all guys yeah all guys if you're a guy and you're watching it and you think that greg is not you know making a good point for you you can leave your comment you can answer the same question down the description i mean down the comment section you know because we, we actually want to read comments and stuff like that and you know other people also enjoy reading comments so if you think that uh greg is not really answering like you the guy watching us will answer just just feel free and then leave a comment for, <laughs> for i mean for us for everybody to you know to to actually get involved right babe yeah i'd say that uh this is a good topic okay because I, I can speak for probably a huge part of the population that says uh you know you don't want to talk about it but you know age has has a lot to do with it uh oh okay so what are you saying the question is Oh, how how, how strong. strong? How strong are you guys? You know your thing. How strong is it? It's strong. What's it's st you? Okay, do you know what I'm saying? We no. can't mention the name, you know, because of stuff. But how strong is it? Dingling. Uh, it's strong. It gets it's muscular. You're talking for yourself, or you're talking for all guys? Maybe some. Bro. Maybe it's, there's a guy watching us, and his is not strong. All guys. All guys. All guys. Yeah. You guys. Strong. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> strong and healthy. How, you want me to sit here and tell you that I know other guys' things are not strong? Oh well, well, okay. You are <laughs> you are talking for everybody, so that's. I don't quite know what what strong period means, but uh, strong when means, it's okay. when it's ready to go, it's as strong as can be. No, strong is like, you know, strong. I seen. Is it is it that uh, you know? That's strong. It's strong. <laughs> it's strong. <laughs> you can you can't Oh guys. This is getting interesting. Why do you guys uh live the toilet seat? I mean like every time the guys that you guys go to the Bible I mean I mean why do you lift the toilet seat up? Why do you do that? Cause that's what you're taught to do when you're young. Lift the toilet seat up. Mm -hmm. You respect not. You better respect not peeing where somebody sits because if you go to a, a guy's bathroom and you see somebody that peed on the toilet seat, uh -huh. not in the urinal, you just want to find out who did it. You yeah. want to run and tackle him. Uh, there's number one and number two. Number one, lift the seat up. For guys. Yeah, for guys. <laughs> Maybe your aim might be a little bit off. It splashes. I mean, you guys want to, you ladies want to know out there, I'm not going to pee where you're going to sit. <laughs> Lift it up. <laughs> if we leave it up, who cares? I mean, just imagine the opposite. What if we just always leave it down and do our thing? You'll be, you'll be furious. All right. That concluded our little interview. Uh, so Greg is free. He was really, you know. I got stuck on a, a handful lot. of them. Yeah, I'm sweaty. My armpits are sweaty. <laughs> uh, my face probably turned bright red at times. <laughs> yeah. But it's fun. It's okay, fun, it's yeah. fun to uh, get a different perspective. But yeah. sitting next to my wife, I might have my mom watching us. Okay. <laughs> He's one of our subscribers. So and yeah, stuff. Greg is a bit, you know, he doesn't really want to open up yeah. that much because mom is watching and you know, um, I'm here and then he's a bit shy. So yeah guys, that's it for today's video. We truly appreciate you guys. Our subscribers, uh, new ones coming up and all that. We actually want to do a shout out today. Okay guys, so today's shout out goes to uh, Courageous K. Courageous K. Oh, thank you. You're so, you're so, I mean, awesome. We, every time she's leaving comments, I mean, her comments are just, you know, so lovely. And Courageous K, we just want to say we love you and thank you. Yeah, she doesn't like, 
She doesn't take Team Evelyn every time. She yeah. doesn't take Team Greg all the time. She mixes it up. She mixes it up. I love man. you. All right, guys. So make sure to turn on your post notification uh, so you're going to be the first one to get notified. And uh, we're going to be doing a shout out at the end of our videos each time from, from now. So if you want to get a shout out, keep on making good comments. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love you. Like, comment, See subscribe, you guys. join. Bye. Bye.